What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of NBA Best Bets here on the Cowbell Kingdom Basketball Zone YouTube channel. I'm your host. My name is Vince Miracle. You guys can follow me on all social media platforms of at VM Center. Uh, you guys can also see all of my picks every single day live at nbabestbets.substack.com where we are at a 50 Five percent win percentage on the year which you guys are going to be able to check out every single time on nbabestbets.substack.com this show is sponsored to you by fanduel.com everyone go to fanduel.com and use promo code king's court the name of my sacramento kings podcast which you guys can all check out on youtube.com slash sac kings nation use promo code king's court and they will match up to 500 dollars of your very first deposit now, guys, this has been a very up and down month for me already, right? So we had multiple wins in a row, so that's why the win percentage still is high. But my units actually fell in these first few days by, I think, like one and a half units. I'm actually down one and a half units on the month for complete transparency. So we need to have a good hitter today. Need to have a good hitter. But I did yesterday hit on a nice round robin. For those who don't know what a round robin is, you bet a, you have to bet a certain amount of games. It could be two, three, whatever, whatever it be, right? Just multiple amount of games. And you're saying that more than this amount of games are going to win. The more games you win, obviously, the bigger payout. It kind of hedges your bet a little bit. So you don't get as big of a payout as if you would have done a regular parlay. Uh, long story short, but every single game yesterday. And I hit on five of them. It was a nice day. Pretty nice day. So let's go ahead and go into today's games. I think today's games are, are going to leave a lot of people uh, interested in seeing which way uh, the money is flowing. And I think that's what we bring to the show quite a bit. And I think that people love is that we go over where the big money is flowing this early in the day. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into today's games. First up... We have the Cleveland Cavaliers as two and a half point favorites over the Indiana Pacers. They are on the road here. Pacers are three and ten since the trade deadline, since acquiring Tyrese Halliburton. They are at home. Malcolm Brogdon is expected to be in the lineup. No Jared Allen for the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I still believe that this line is way too low. Obviously, I will be riding and looking at the Cleveland Cavaliers at minus two and a half, unless there's something there that I'm missing. Early money flow is coming in on this game at 63% of betters are at minus 2.5 for the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's just the most obvious dominant team here between the two. The Cavs' defense is just superior, and I still think they just have so many guys that they can throw at them. And 80% of the big money is going at minus 150 if you're ever looking at being at the spread. Uh, for those of you who are ever curious... And I do, I do see that a lot of times you guys always wonder about point totals. I'm not a huge point total guy. I think there's just too much work in the research of fighting about point totals and, 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 and things like that. But for big money, uh, again, 80, is it 83? What is it? What's that say? 80, 78, I'm sorry. 78% of the money is riding on the over of 223.5. So they're expecting this to be a pretty high scoring game today. I actually, let's see, this is actually the. No, there's some high scoring games of the day. That's relatively low comparative to what's going to be going on down the line. So. If I, if, if I were you guys, I'm looking heavily either at the money line or at the spread. But I tell people this all the time. When it's one, two points, honestly, the the money the point spread normally when you bet it is normally right around minus 110, minus 115, minus 105. If you get really lucky, you can find those. But if you're already going to be sitting around like one or two points, if the, if the money line is like 10 points more, like minus 150, like this Cavs line is, I would look at that more heavily than I would look at the spread just in case, you know, anything's happened. Remember, Vegas has their lights on for a reason. They have these spreads for a reason. Why hedge it? Why why, why put yourself in that predicament where the, the Cavs, for some reason, only win by one? Get a win, minus 150. You take a little bit less of a return, but it's better for the big wins. Phoenix Suns, six and a half point favorites over the Magic. Very interesting game to me that the spread isn't a little bit bigger, but obviously the Magic do have some players there. Uh, Fultz, 
Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony, Bamba, and Wendell Carter Jr. Uh, so maybe they think they can compete. I really don't. I think that I think the Suns are just a very elite team, even without Chris Paul and Devin Booker, who's out with health and safety protocols. Seventy-two percent of the money is with the Phoenix Suns at minus six and a half. Pretty obvious there, and ninety percent are at minus two seventy-five. Over under at two twenty-one and a half, and a lot of betters seventy-five percent are on the over. Uh, Brooklyn Nets, their spread is growing. Early this morning, it was at minus two and a half, uh, and that's going to be my free pick of the day. I had the Brooklyn Nets at minus two and a half. I still like them here at minus four and a half on the road against the Charlotte Hornets. So if you're watching this show and you wanted to follow me on any picks, I'll give you my one free pick of the day, and that is going to be the Brooklyn Nets at minus four and a half. So let's go ahead and Throw so that, that one out there for you. That's going to be the pick of the day for you is Brooklyn minus four and a half. And 65% of betters are on that. And I think the biggest reason why is 98% of betters this morning were on Brooklyn at minus two and a half. 98%. So they obviously had to change that spread. Minus 190 for the money line. So you're still getting better than two to one odds on that. That's still good to see. Pelicans, Grizzlies. Uh, Pels being six and a half point underdog, I think intrigues me. I, I this is a dog game for me. I'd ride the dog more than I'd ride the favorite. I think the Pels always get overlooked, but CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram being questionable, you're you're taking you're taking on that hit. But I mean, CJ McCollum still a really good player. Bi, if he's playing, you know that that's gonna look really good and that's gonna be solid. Uh, you're taking obviously the gamble that he doesn't play, but regardless, the Pels have talent. Jonas Valanciunas is still gonna be there. CJ is going to be there. Can Devontae Graham step up? Herb Jones' defense has been stellar. Obviously, the Grizzlies are really good, but I, I just think that it's a dog in that game. You, you look at the dog there. Bucks, heavy favorites over OKC. You're kind of staying away from that game. And lastly, you have the Oklahoma City Thunder. Oklahoma City Thunder. You have the Los Angeles Clippers as five and a half point uh, underdogs against the Golden State Warriors at home with everyone back after a night's rest. It's a whatever game. The the money's literally, it's it's literally a coin flip here for me at five and a half. The cl- the Clippers are a next year team in my opinion, and the Warriors are kind of just like muddling through. I think they're okay with getting that two three seed and, and just staying there below. And and everyone's kind of just bowed down to the Suns being the number one seed and the number one team in the NBA right now. So it's a fifty two percent of the betters are with the Clippers. I still like the Warriors honestly, but. It's a coin flip. I, I would stay away from this game as well. Where 93% of betters are with the Golden State Warriors at minus 225 for the actual money line. Over, under on points is at 223.5. And 90% of betters are going with the over. And that, my friends, is our rundown of today's games. I hope you guys all definitely enjoyed that show. Enjoy the conversation. NBA best bets.substack.com. I'm your host, Vince Miracle. You guys can follow me on all social media platforms of at VM Center. See the pick. See how many units I'm betting, how much all of my units actually are. I go into a full breakdown on all of this, guys. Not only do I give you guys my picks, but I say, hey, one unit on this, one unit equals this amount. This bet will get you this amount of money if you're following me on this. I tell you my parlay of the day. I go into a full breakdown, full Excel sheet on nbabestbets.substack.com. Become a premium subscriber today. We get a full discussions on all of our picks. If you haven't done so already, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button down there on that YouTube channel, guys. We provide content for you almost every single day. Uh, great stuff here. The Basketball Zone YouTube channel is a lot of fun. Picks. Good luck. Let me know in the comment section. Are you riding with me? You hitting that Dirk fadeaway on me? Let me know down below, uh, down in the comment section below. And lastly, shout out to our sponsor, FanDuel. Use promo code KingsCourt so you got a match of that $500 deposit. And until next time, NBA betters, good luck to you out there. Peace.